I'm Liu Zhiqing, Senior Fellow of Chongyang Institute of Finance at Renmin University of China. For more insights on India's latest COVID-19 crisis, good afternoon, Mr. Liu. Good afternoon. Well, give us a sense of what the magnitude of India's health crisis and the possible economic fallout. Uh, frankly speaking, we are deeply shocked by the uh, worsening situation in India because in the past one year and a half, India is still not ready to deal with this uh, pandemic outbreak. Even during the very serious situation all over the world, but India is not getting ready. This is the point. So the health crisis and the economic recovery in India will be seriously infected and influenced. This is a question that for the Indian government, why, what is happened, what's happening? Because as we know that if you want to control this pandemic at the very beginning, it's not a complicated job. But nowadays they have so serious out outbreak uh, all over the society, make the less confidence in the society, make a chaos in the society. Also, they have the negative influence for the economic recovery. This is a serious problem for this uh, Indian government. But now I have to say that so we should uh, uh, send our uh, deep uh, sympathy to the Indian, to the people, they have uh, so uh, serious suffering. The sympathy sent to all those patients that uh, they have suffered also from the pandemic infected. But I, I mean that uh, the government still has the time, still has the chance to overcome all these difficulties and the challenges ahead. But now it is not India's own problem, it is a global problem. How will it complicate the global fight against COVID-19 and affect global economic recovery, which is very nascent at this moment? Yes, I think the question relies on both sides, not only the Indian government, but also a global situation, because some major countries in the world they pay less attention to control this pandemic outbreak. That's why they have a, a very negative and a bad example to those developing countries. India is the second largest developing country. Has a, it's a very important uh, influence in the economic development in the world. But nowadays, from both sides globally and also from uh, India, both sides they should combine them together and how to support with each other to overcome all these difficulties that India has met at the moment. But I think the first thing for India is that to uh, to accept all these supporters from all over the country. There is no politically uh, discrimination. So for instance, India refuses to accept some support from some countries. This is not the way to save the uh, lives of the people. Also, it's not the way to protect the economic recovery. So in this way, I think the Indian government should closely cooperate and uh, with the global market, especially WHO, that uh, to get the effective support and the substantial support to deal with all this outbreak disease. That's right. The government really needs to put their people's lives first rather than politics and ideologies. And Ms. Liu, how will India's blockade affect the global medical supply chains because India is a key supplier of vaccines and all kinds of medical supplies in Asia and in the world. Yes, this is a good question. As we know, India is a good uh, supply for the materials and the raw materials for vaccination, also for some medical equipment, medical uh, uh, medicine. In this way, that uh, uh, India has lost its the best time and the chance to overcome its own disease. That's why we have a very bad uh, confidence and influence to the uh, outside the market. But I think the blockade of the Indian supply chain is only a short-term effect. In long term or in middle term, I think they will come to a normal sense in this way that India can overcome its uh, suffering point and also can come to the normal life and provide all this supply chain with the global market. In this way, the global market will not be suffering from the disease and the worsening situation from India. So we hope that the situation from both sides will be sooner or later improved. 
And how much policy room does the Indian government have? You said earlier that still stand a good chance, but is the window closing fast? Actually, the policy room still exists in every country, every uh, uh, government has a full uh, tools for to overcome all these difficulties. But it depends whether they made the right decision, whether they have the right direction how to deal with this uh, disease. I think India has a, a lot to learn for the past uh, experiences. So what they lost uh, the valuable support from outside and uh, why they rely on only one or two countries that are not all, not the WHO's uh, uh, whole society of the community. So in this way that uh, India should uh, amend its major policy and also try to be friend to all the global society to get the supply help from the uh, uh, international uh, communities. Only by doing so that the India can overcome all these uh, problems in the short term. Because the life is life lost, it will never come again. So Indian government should pay great attention to protect the people's life and also to restore the social uh, order. So and of of course the economic recovery will be sooner or later uh, taking shape. So we hope that uh, all these measures will be taken in an effective way. And they're a big task for the government. Thanks for your analysis, Mr. Liu Zhiqing, Senior Fellow of Chongyang Institute of Finance at Jimin University of China.